But next, as I said, um, despite the fact that the reversal of Roe v. Wade has been incredibly unpopular, one of the leading causes, not just the reversal of Roe v. Wade, but also just Republican states one by one uh, reversing abortion access to women. Um, that is that really was one of the leading causes on why they the GOP didn't perform well in the midterm elections. And despite that, despite that evidence, uh, states are still making moves to make it harder for people to protect uh, their access to abortion. Um, despite the fact that it's popular to do so. We saw what happened with Kansas, even though Kansas being a very red state, the voters came out and said, no, nah, y'all aren't going to take this access away. People should still be able to come here and, and do what they need to do if it's really, uh, if they really need to. So again, talking about the state of Ohio, um, their, uh, you know, ballot initiatives can help to save access to abortion. So what legislators in Ohio are doing is they're trying to change the ballot ledger, uh, legislature um, threshold percentage from majority to 60 percent. So instead of 51 percent, it would have to be 61 percent, um, which basically just makes it not only harder to protect abortion rights, but it makes it harder to pass anything on a ballot measure. Um you know, and they know exactly what they're doing. So, again, Ohio Republicans, they're uh, because they know that uh, taking access from abortion away to people is unpopular. Uh, they're pushing that threshold. So regardless of if you're for it or against it, this is just a political tactic. So here is Kelly Hall, the executive director uh, of the Fairness Project. She says, the instinct from conservative lawmakers to make it harder for their voters to decide on the core issues that matter to them most is fundamentally an assault on voting rights. And then she goes on to say, those lawmakers know their ideological views are out of sync with their voters and they are trying to change the rules of the game. That's 100 percent. Again, you know, this is that there's no coding. This is oh well, we're just trying to protect, you know, the Constitution from being just arbitrarily changed at a whim. We want to make it so that it's not just a majority, but a super majority. Like, no, I just want to make it harder for stuff to pass. This is going to make it harder for things to pass. And again, no matter if it's abortion access or it, it doesn't matter what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is going to make it harder for the will of the people uh, to be respected. And um, so, you know, this isn't this also uh, is happening in, in my home state. So, again, the article goes on. Republican lawmakers in Ohio aren't the only ones attempting to thwart citizen led initiatives to secure abortion rights. Missouri is also currently discussing an increase in the threshold for constitutional amendments to 60 percent of the vote. The Fairness Project fought two similar proposals in 2022 in South Dakota and Arkansas and successfully beat attempts to challenge ballot thresholds. So again, my good old home state of Missouri, they 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 doing their thing, but of course they are. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so I think there was, yes. Yeah, so here's a, you know, this is important because there's only uh 17 states that allow ballot initiatives. So again, um Republicans in Ohio are attempting to make it more difficult for the citizens to protect their access to abortion by changing the ballot measure threshold from 50 percent to 60 percent majority. There are 17 states within the, uh, the U.S. that allow for ballot measures. And this data is important right here. So not all stat, uh, not all states are safe bets of the 17 states that allow ballot initiatives. Some like California, Michigan, Massachusetts, Montana and Oregon already have strong existing protections for abortion. So, again, it'll be difficult to overturn that regardless. States they are. Uh, so, again, states Republicans are more likely to focus on for this initiative are ones where abortion is currently under threat that allow citizen led ballots such as Arizona, Arkansas, Florida, Missouri, Nebraska, Nevada, North Dakota, Oklahoma and South Dakota. So, again, you know, just a uh, plain old non-democratic uh, tactic to make it more difficult for people to have access to what they want. 